Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of my team selector ahead of tomorrow's game away at Bournemouth in the Premier League. Um, it's a chance for Chelsea to bounce back after that Bayern defeat, but also do something they haven't done um, since November in the Premier League, and that is win back-to-back -back Premier League games. Um, it's quite crazy to look at that stat, considering Chelsea is still in fourth place, but I think it shows you the struggle in form we've had and looking at the next three games I think you know it's smart enough to just like look one game at a time as the cliche goes but Bournemouth, uh, Everton and Aston Villa before the game I believe against Manchester City in the league. Chelsea um, if they can win these three games I think considering the form and fixtures of other teams around them can put themselves in a strong position but as we've seen recently that has been a real problem uh, just before I go into the game and uh, my feelings on the on the team and where we should go for the game uh, Frank Lampard in his pre-match press conference which just happened uh, injury news uh, Tammy Abraham's out there was a worry because of that because he limped off after the post-match uh, warm down. There, there was footage of that. Christian Pulisic is still out. Um, still seems to be no sort of time limit on him, which is uh, frustrating and worrying. Hudson Odoi is also still out, and obviously Kante is out as well. But going into Bournemouth, and it's interesting, you know, Bournemouth we've had problems with home and away last season at disastrous 4-0 uh, defeat um, at the Vitality, but also this season, of course, that 1-0 defeat earlier in the year. Um, and I think it's a real dilemma for Frank going into this game of either sticking with the 3-4-3, three, three, which worked really well against Spurs, but of course we lost uh, with it against Bayern, um, or going back to the 4-3-3. Three, three. I would stick with the 3-4-3. Three, three. I think, of course, Bayern uh, was a massive game and it was a massive moment, you feel like, within Chelsea of where we are in terms of world football and European football. But... You have to. I, I think you have to isolate in that sense of, of the team you're up against, the quality of team. Um, and just looking at that Premier League game against Spurs, how well it worked. And I do think that defensively for me, Chelsea moving forward, I think since we have those issues now and they can't be rectified potentially till the summer, um, I would feel maybe more reassured with a free at the back. But having said that, Frank has tried a number of formations this season and they have, you know, all of them have, have shown flaws. And, and as he said in the press conference, it's about individual errors and fluidity within your team. But I'm going to stick with the 3-4-3. Three, three. I'm interested to hear what you guys say about that. Um, in goal, I'm going to bring back Kepa. Um, I don't think Frank will. I think he'll stick with Caballero. But I think that Caballero made some good saves, but I just think that with Kepa's ability and my belief that he can still be a, a big goalie for Chelsea moving forward, I just think it would show, you know, a lot of um, sort of backing to Kepa if he came back into the side. I, I think if he doesn't play uh, tomorrow, I think he will play against Liverpool in the Cup probably. Um, but I think that I, st I would still like Kepa back in the team. I really would. I still think he has got a future at Chelsea and I think it's on Kepa personally to prove Lampard wrong. Now, whether he does that, if he gets a chance against Bournemouth or in the FA Cup, I think um, Kepa can still be a big keeper for Chelsea. I really do believe that. And I think that, you know, hopefully his time on the sidelines has, you know, taught him things, maybe given him extra motivation to get better, to improve. Um, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. But I'm going to go with Kepa. Back three, Dave Christensen. And instead of Rudiger, I'm going to bring back Fakaya Tomori. Uh, it's been a question a lot of us have asked, where has Fakaya Tomori been? I read an article in The Athletic today about uh, Tomori. There seems to be no problems with Frank Lampard and Tomori personally, like in terms of his mentality or um attitude and you know back to when Chelsea were winning back-to-back -back Premier League games in November Tomori was part of the defense and I think he's been one of Chelsea's best defender if not best in terms of his own individual performance I thought he had such a good display the last time we saw him against Hull and I'd like to see him back in the fold I really would I, I don't I you know there's been so many individual mistakes and you know no one can really tell me what Chelsea's best defence is. So I'd like to see Tomori, who I think potentially could be one of those um, back in the team uh, for this game. Right wing back, Reese James had a really tough night the other night against Alfonso Davis, but we've seen the quality of Reese James before and hopefully he can get right back on track and get back to performing really well. Uh, midfield two, it's obviously going to be Kovacic and Jorginho. I think I'd be really shocked if Ruben starts. I think he'll be in the squad, but I still think Frank will wait a little bit with him. Um, potentially he'll come off the bench tomorrow, but I still think Kova and Jorginho will be the midfield two. 
If he's going to stick with a 3-4-3, I'd say Marcus Alonso. Yes, he had a difficult night the other night, of course, getting sent off. But I think if you're going to play the system, I don't see why you wouldn't play a left footer over there. Of course, it's, it's a persistent problem. And if you're going to play four at the back, I wouldn't play Marcus Alonso there. But definitely in a 3-4-3, I'd stick with Marcus Alonso based off his performance against Spurs. Um, Willian, I think, should come back into the side as an inverted winger. And Mason Mount, I think, should also keep his place as well. And obviously, it's going to be Olivier Giroud up top with Tammy Abraham injured. Um, I think that's, you know, obviously, I, I can't see Mitchie coming back into the side. I'd be absolutely stunned if Batshuayi starts tomorrow. Um, of course, Frank has done it before. But given Giroud's amazing performance against Spurs, um, this is a massive chance for Olivier Giroud. Um, just by sort of circumstance, you know, the injury to Abraham, everything's fallen very nicely for Giroud now. And he potentially can be Chelsea's main striker for the next couple of weeks if, if Tammy's injury persists. Um, so that is my team for the game tomorrow. Let me know your lineups in the comments. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video if you did enjoy hit that subscribe button and a notification bell to never miss an upload follow me on twitter at son of chelsea and i'll see you again